Another thing that we can do with our shapes to make them more interesting is to rotate them. The rotate function changes the coordinate system so that shapes can be drawn at any angle. This can be used to create quite interesting patterns. The rotate function accepts only one parameter, which is the angle in radians, which tells it how far to rotate the coordinate system. A positive value will tell it to rotate in a clockwise direction. Let's have a look at an example. First, let's create a rectangle using the rect function. As you can see, it is drawn using our standard coordinate layout system. But we can use the rotate function to change everything around. If we call the rotate function, we need to tell it how far we want to rotate the coordinate system in radians. Let's start by telling it to rotate by pi divided by 16. If we do this again, we can rotate the coordinate system further, enabling us to draw our shapes on whatever angle we like, like so. We can use the translate function to add an offset to our x and y coordinates. Why is this useful? If you think about it, when we try to rotate a shape, it is actually rotated around the origin or starting coordinates for our canvas, rather than the center or corner of the shape itself. This is probably not what we want. We can change this by combining the translate function with our algorithms. We can draw our shape at an x and y coordinate position of 0, 0, perform the rotation that we want, and then translate the coordinates of the shape to be where we want it to appear on the canvas. Let's have a look at this in action. What would happen if we did not have this translation? Let's see. We can also scale up our images by using the scale function. The scale function is used to blow up or magnify the coordinate system so that our images are drawn larger. The scale function can either accept one parameter, which tells it how large to scale the images, taken as a decimal percentage, where 1.5 equals 150%. The scale function can accept two parameters, where the percentage scale for the x and y coordinates can be provided separately. Let's have a look at some examples. In this first example, we can see how we can scale up our drawing of a rectangle by 150%. In this second example, we can see how we can use a different scale factor for our x and y coordinates to scale up our image along one dimension only. You can, of course, also use the scale function to scale things down. How would you do that? As a hint, Think about how your percentage scale is defined. As you can see, when you scale up an image, the stroke weight is also scaled up. If you didn't want this to happen, you would also need to reduce the stroke weight by the same amount that you scaled up your image. Now it's time for you to practice to write some more code.